All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Levert Casanova. Texas has gone all in. Uh, Texas, in addition to passing laws um, where you can just, the state legislator, where you can just buy a gun and carry it, uh, in addition to uh, taking slavery out of the history book some years ago. Now, uh, the state legislator had passed a law where you don't need to, uh, in school, you don't need to teach about uh, Martin Luther King or Susan B. Anthony or any uh, Native Americans. You don't need to do that. And what's particularly uh, striking is this Texas has told its teachers that it is not mandatory to teach that the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacy is wrong, that it is morally wrong. That, that shouldn't sound shocking to people. Uh, and matter of fact, it will be met with deafening silence because Texas is doing what the majority of white people in America believe should happen. The majority of white people, uh, when compared uh, to uh, separatists or nationalists or even members of the Klan, the thing they objected to was their verbiage. The things they objected to was the way their methods. But what they didn't object to was their objectives. They believe that white supremacy uh, has served them well and that to keep their station, they need it. Now, they don't want the N-word you bantered about. They don't want, uh, you know, overt uh, 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 diatribe. But they do believe that the goals of the uh, Ku Klux Klan and white nationalists are in line with theirs. They believe it. Watch when this happens. Texas is not doing anything that most white people in this country do not agree with. They don't think that history needs to be rewritten. They don't think that they need to te learn all these things. They don't need to. They don't think that they need to learn how bad America has treated some people. That's all in the past. They think that people are lucky just to be here. And they know a truism that they will not say out loud, but they are in lockstep with. They know that white supremacy has served them well and continues to. They, agree, they disagree with the verbiage. They disagree with the language. They disagree with some of the message, but they agree totally with the notion, with the ideas. They are in lockstep with them. They believe they are superior and they should be. They believe America should belong to just them. They believe that what their forefathers did, forefathers did may be terrible, but, but it happened and we should get over it. That is what they honestly believe. This is not me making up. Their, their, their goals are in lockstep with white nationalists and Ku Klux Klan members. They believe it. I don't believe you should say nigga. I don't believe you should lynch people. I don't believe you should do that. But, you know, I do believe America should belong to, 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 to the white people. I believe it. And Texas is only enshrining in law what they say in their quiet recesses of their homes and their offices, on their pages on Facebook. White uh, America should still be the property and private domain of white people. And they're enshrined in constitution. They're not being obsequious. They're telling you this is what we believe. A lot of people in America, uh, a lot of white folk in America believe exactly that. This is not me making it up. They disagree with the things that they say, but not the things that they do. They do not disagree with this legislature. They do not disagree that, it should, that, that you should learn that the Klan is morally wrong. Because to them, it isn't morally wrong. To them, they're doing exactly what needs to be done. Saying what not, and that exactly what needs to be said. They will not complain about the methods when they get the stake. Watch how deafening the silence is. Watch how quiet it is. That is your, that is their, 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 their quiet, uh, uh, agreement. They are saying their tacit agreement. They're saying we agree with this. A lot of people in America, a lot of white people in America will tell you to your face, I think that it's wrong that people say these words. I think that it's wrong that they act this way. But their motives, their methods are the only thing they question, not their objectives at all. It should be the sole domain of white people. They need to be in charge. They fought, forefathers fought hard and murdered and raped their way uh, to dominance and they mean to keep it. To them, slavery was not a necessary evil. It wasn't evil at all. It was just necessary. And all the remnants of it are equally as necessary. Texas is only doing and saying what they wish they had the courage and the power to do. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It is the D.L. Hughley Show.